few years ago, uh, one of my CXO clients uh, had said uh, he sees AI everywhere except in the bottom line. I think we are, we are far beyond that now, thankfully. We've moved from this notion of doing these pilots to actually reimagining entire domains. And as you reimagine domains, think through the end-to-end -end, uh, workflow, how are you going to change that, where are you going to use predictive insight from machine learning, how are you going to use Gen AI to come in and drive more creative insights, more synthesis. And this year is the year of Agentic AI, where we, we are automating entire workflows. And as a COO um, and other CXOs, the critical thing is to therefore prioritize high value domains. And as you do this, adopt a factory mindset to doing it. We have implemented AI factories with some of our clients, where uh, you build this for scale right from the get go. You componentize code, you build uh, product families, you build code blocks so that you can reuse them. And by doing that, you achieve better, faster, cheaper uh, with every single product going forward. The first stage of going through an AI transformation is to reimagine domains and prioritize domains by value. For example, a domain like exploration in the resources industry, it is very data intensive, but it takes three to four years for the value to show. On the other hand, um, a domain like production optimization or manufacturing excellence, where you're improving the yield, um, the energy efficiency or the throughput of a process, there you would find results very quickly in eight to 10 months. So getting the right mix of uh, which are domains where you get value quickly and where there's a value realization that comes in a bit later, I think phasing that is, is, is critical. I think several of our clients have now realized that there's a lot that can be done with existing data systems. Uh, an existing uh, OTIT infrastructure uh, and just using that purposefully unlocks a lot of value and creates energy in the organization towards, uh, towards AI. Ultimately, it is use equals value. Uh, the frontline needs to use AI solutions and get used to AI being a part of how they work. More than 80% of lighthouses have uh, clearly created mechanisms and have had purposeful capability building and change management programs to ensure that the frontline adopts AI. Uh, you need the senior leaders of the business, typically business leaders, to be AI sponsors. Uh, they need to be asking the question, what if, and also what's the status? You need um, the top 100 uh, leaders of the organization who actually lead critical functions or critical businesses to be AI champions. They uh, need to be accountable for uh, business delivery and then you need the tech organization and the, and the line organization to step up in terms of, of translation as well as building uh, domain-led AI talent as well.